Hey, what's up guys? Uh, so quick video. We have a download that came in. Um, Proton10MG here on Twitter actually was kind enough to post it so we could see everything. Um, so a couple stuff that we have is the promo banners for the New World Tournament that's about to start in a couple hours. Um, I mean, nothing too exciting. It's cool, I guess, to see that they're changing some new units on there, but I don't think this is what anyone's excited for. We have the full power Jackie Chan, who's pretty decent. We could take a look at them. Um, yeah, there's a DB Saga. And they have this one where uh, I guess the main unit here would be the Skohan, which is funny because he's in the back. Um, he's 99% um, sure he's getting his Awakening. He was actually just added to DBZ space. There's a good chance he's getting his Awakening with this banner. I actually don't have him, so it'd be great if I could pull him. Um, yep, there he is right there as part of the download, so it's a good chance he's coming in. Same for him. We'll take a look at them after. Demon King Piccolo, we're all, we already know him and his trunks are coming in. I already did a video previously talking about these two, so go look at that if you want info on them. Uh, we will discuss these two shortly. Then we have the Dokkan banner uh, tickets coming in. This was uh, the ticket 417, which again, did a video with that. So take a look at that in the previous, um, previous video. But we see these two a and b so it's obviously a dual dokkan because you have two different separate tickets so there's a good chance everyone we're looking at um boo and we're looking at boo tanks not boo tanks oh my god boo and go tanks <laughs> so when we go back and we look at the timeline right let's see where are we actually this got messed up yeah, it was for him I think I'm going back too far. Where is it? Yeah, here we are. So this is right around where we are now. Um, this unit, Go Tanks, right? Just got his EZA pretty much a year later. So this is where we are in terms of timeline. Are we going to get a legendary unit? Probably not. I would think this might be what they do instead they might do heroes um now we don't know anything about that yet but there is a good chance that this could be the replacement hopefully it is a dual celebration including global and global isn't gonna have to wait you know months for it to come around because that, that would be very very silly for them to do um so then the next upcoming banner these are formable cards we had an easy a right here similar you know we just had our easy a here for super 17 we come here this is the next dual banner and it is a dual dokkan fest they had um trunks and trunks and uh zamasu so we're in line right and when we look this was the release date for trunks november 12th now if this was to get messed up which it very easily can uh with the heroes coming out um they might move boo around and push them that would kind of suck because I kind of I think most people kind of want to just get that one out of the way because after that is then going to be the blue boys who people really are going to want to summon for uh, the fusion like this guy isn't just he's just not that great is he going to show up here yeah uh, it, I, if they do come with this banner I, I'm going to probably throw a little at because we're going to have some discounts these tickets I'm pretty sure these are just gonna be paid tickets. I don't I don't know if they'll do like um three for ones or like I, I don't know if they'll do stuff like that, but I think these are just gonna be you just buy the tickets if you wanna use them instead of stones. So I don't think it's like like really enticing you to, to summon. Uh they could go all out if they put this banner up with the intention of having like a hero's banner right after it. They could do that. That way you would you really wanna summon here because they're giving you great value. To drain you for then when the next banner comes out but you know just a quick look at him uh he does raise defense uh he is 100 percent flat yeah uh, with one key so right nothing special he'll transform on turn three now he greatly raised defense so we're getting better defensively and he has a great chance to stun which is 70 percent so him in this form is really weird he's he's you know doing really well but that's turn three so um these like stunning mechanics are best in shorter events, which then conflicts with having to wait till turn three. So that doesn't connect. Um, sure, he will still be good, but 
do you need him? Probably not. I think at this point, most people probably beat Super Int SBR. Uh, you know, you, you didn't need him to do it. Uh, if you are having trouble, sure, he can help, but I don't. I, you shouldn't have too much trouble with beating that one. Um, then he gets key plus two. Tag of Demons is still 100%. High chance of, uh, and this is where he kind of like gets random. It's a high chance of attack 50%, high chance of additional 50%, which is, you know, a good chance to happen, but then it's a high chance for his defense to go up. So it's like, you know, we're just, his whole pass is random. So I don't know what's going to happen. I'm, I'm taking a guess, like what's going to happen with him. Transforms starting from turn four after this transformation. So that's a long time. That's like turn seven now. We're waiting to get to Super Saiyan 3. Greatly raises attack for three turns, so it's slightly stacking. Um, high chance to stun, but now is 50% instead of the 70%. Uh, so it's like, sure, uh, he becomes you know much stronger. He The RNG kind of goes away a little bit. He gets that. The key plus three is in a great chance. He has a 70% chance to launch a second super. It's like, yeah, he's great. He, he definitely will have his uses. Um, not a must-have character, right? He might be someone you just randomly pull that you're not trying for. That's kind of how I see it. Um, the boo is the same thing. Honestly, this boo has been so just shit on, <laughs> I guess, from truth that it's like, I, I can't imagine actually even trying to summon for him. Because uh, obviously what they look like on paper and what they do in the game are, are sometimes two different things. So when you look at this, um, no defense, only damage reduction. That's big iffy. That's, 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 that's a red flag right there. To not have defense and just damage reduction. It doesn't really work. And then, you know, watching videos from like Truth and people that use him, it's like pretty apparent that he's not great. Maybe if this greatly raised defense instead of attack, he, it'd save him. But for some reason, it's just attack. Um... If you can get his transformations, which uh, he has like the same transformation conditions, I believe, as yeah, starting from the third turn. The skill. It's like the, I think, I believe it's the same transformation conditions. Starting from the fourth turn after exchange. Yeah, same exact transformation conditions as uh, um, Gotenks. Uh, so it's not exactly something you're going to get every time. You're, he, he, he seals, he doesn't stun. So I mean that, at least it's guaranteed instead of having a chance. We introduced artificial life forms. We don't we don't need that anymore. I guess I don't think this really is too big of a deal. He introduced Majin Power. He is a, the best, I believe, leader for it. Yeah, because what is Boot Tanks one? Yeah, HP one thirty, attack and defense one seventy, and then he is one seventy flat with key plus four. So sure, he's the best leader, but I mean, I don't think anyone really runs that team as meta. It is a meta team because of how much healing you can do, but I don't think people just run it just because it's not I think, the most fun, but that's personal preference. Um, yeah, so it does look like we're coming out with uh, the go tanks. I think these are just going to be you buy the tickets. I don't know if they'll be part of the actual summon. I have to wait and see, but that's it for this one. Keeping this one short. Let me know what you guys think is coming down below. Um, do you think these tickets are going to be just peel off trove or do you guys think this is going to be you'll receive the ticket per summon? Um, like, sub, all the other cool stuff. Appreciate you. Peace. Sorry, one more thing. I forgot to go over these guys real quick. Uh, sorry for the outro. But Jackie Chun, he is pretty good. Um, attack and defense 130. Uh, this is in his SSR form or his UR form. Attack and defense 130 when performing. So he will not gain any defense until he supers. Keep that in mind. Um, and then he is the, I think, one of the first Kamehameha uh, support units. So this will make him very valuable. Uh, he isn't going to have really great links um, besides Kamehameha for the team. But he will have this. Uh, and this will be pretty good. Uh, it, it's not even like the best passive because that team doesn't really need key. They really just need attack and defense. And he's not even giving defense. But it's still better than nothing. So... He's pretty decent. Um, we can, I could see him maybe gaining um, defense on his support passive once he awakens into his TUR, and then maybe go him to like 150 would be pretty cool. So, would be a cool unit. Um, and then this guy, this guy is really good unit. He's already awakened on um, JP. No, he has attacking defense 58 percent, but he reduces damage by 58 percent. That's just that's a high number on top of the defense he already has. 
Then he gives uh, super class allies key plus two, attack and damage thirty percent. Really small passive, real simple, but he he performs. He's one of those units where this looks good, and then he does better. And he has a medium chance to stun, which is thirty percent for two turns. Not the highest chance, but um, it can, you know he he can just do so much. So this is the type of unit where I'm sure he looks decent on paper, but he actually performs well above um, how it looks. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys them real quick and take a look. This is, I'm hoping I can pull him on the banner for the World Tournament, but we will see. Let me know um, if you guys are going to be grinding out that World Tournament. I know I will be. Maybe we could even do a stream. I don't know. I'll probably just do like a video on it though. Let me know what you guys think. Peace.